All right, everybody, what's going on? It's Nock. We are back with another Blurt Sudoku episode. Hope you enjoyed the uh, the solves on this, on the first one. But uh, yeah, we're going to dive right back in and um, see if we uh, can solve this one a little bit better and with a little few less um, fat fingers because nobody likes fat fingers. All right, so let's let's look straight away. I've seen pencil marks there. We've got some single digits as well, which we can take care of like so. Is there anything else that's sticking out of me? This 23 is sticking out of me because I know that's going to be a 8, a 9, and a 6. I do like a lot of like the number patterns and the number combinations from playing these like pencil puzzle games have like just been ingrained in my head. So I, I can look at some things and like know instantly, okay, that's got to be that, that, and that. So that all just comes with practice. That's fine. Uh, this here is going to be a 2-3 pair, which is going to allow us to unwind this 1-2 here, like so. So we've got that, 2-3, two, 2-3. Three, two, three. So we need to make 20 from three digits, 5 and above. It's going to be 5-6, five, 5-6-11, six, five 5-6-9. It can't be five, six, nine because we know we need to have a six, out, a six and a nine. Mm, yeah, we, we need to have either a six or a nine in there. So it can't be five, six, nine. Going up next to him, we've got six, seven. Six and seven is 13. Oh, geez, how are we going to make this? That'll be the five, surely. Five, seven is 12. Five, seven, eight. Five, seven, eight. That would make that an eight. And then five, seven, eight, five, seven, eight, five, seven, eight. Cool. Okay. This block here, we can probably do some number magic here. So we know that 15, 12, and four is 16, 31, plus eight is 39. Therefore, this has to be a six because that makes 45. 45 is the magic number when you go all when you add all the numbers from one to nine together. So that's going to be a six, and that's going to be a three. I'm trying to remember as well as I go along, and I've, I've, after, as soon as I've placed a digit, I'm putting it straight back into pencil mode just to try and avoid those fat finger mistakes. Um, okay, so then let's look at the four. We know the four has got to be a one and three. That's fine. So we have four, six, eight is 18 18 minus 45 is 27 27 that's what's left uh don't i do that because i could just do add 15 or 12 ignore me i'm just rambling so um how can we make 12 well we can't use three so we can't use three nine we can't use eight four there's a eight fours here so it'd be excuse both of these and we've got a three here so we can't place a three in there so the only other combination that's left for us to make 12 is going to be a 7-5. And then to make the 15, that leaves us with 2, 2, 4, 9. 6 and 9 is, yeah, that's right. Okay, so that's pencil marked that box out. Interestingly, I've realized like playing Killer Sudoku, I, my tactics for like pencil marking boxes is completely different to normal Sudoku. Normally, I only like to pencil mark a cell if there are two possible candidates in like a row or a block or a column. Whereas this, I kind of like feel it's a lot more beneficial if you can kind of like number out everything um, from early doors. See, it's quite interesting for me to see like that differentiation uh, of how I play regular to Killer. Going back to the puzzle, there is only two possible places for this nine. Can't go here because that is a nine. It can't go there because we need to make that would mean the two cells to add it together had to be nine, which obviously we can't do. Um, is there anything else we can take from there? Only the two's got to be in there. I don't think that really helps us too much. Um, here, we know it can't be four five. We know it can't be seven two. It's got to be a 6-3 in this um, 9 here. 21, 21, 
23. We need to make 22 here. Uh, we know 23 is a 986. We could do a 985. All of those digits would sit in there, 985. And I think there was another way to make 22, wasn't there? 8, 7, 15. No. 9, 8, 985. Hold on. 985. 6, 9, 7, 16. And we need to make another six. Nine seven six. All right, both of those combinations can go well. The nine, the, we can't use a six. We can't use a six. So it's, this has got to be nine eight five. These three digits here. I got to that because I added nine and twelve, which gives me twenty one, plus the three, twenty four. My math is terrible today. No, plus the two. Ah, oh, what am I doing? <laughs> nine, nine and twelve. Yeah, we've got nine here. We've got twelve here. That's twenty-one. We've got the two here from the three. That's twenty-three. Forty-five minus twenty-three is twenty-two. Therefore, those digits there will add up to twenty-two. Therefore, we know the twelve can be made up of a one. Or well, not there, but a one, four, seven. One four seven. Yeah, one four seven. All right, so all of those cells there have been identified. That's fine. We can look along this bottom row, though. We can take out a 9 here. We know that that can't be a 9 because this here is a 6-9 pair. What else can we take from this? Okay, not a lot at the minute. No, 1s have to go at the top here. 2s have to go at the top here. Two. Me four there, four's in the middle, that's fine. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, we can't we can't quite differentiate that last number. We do know that that has to be a five or a four or a five, because it's the only two ways to make six in two cells is one, five, two, four. Um Okay, where are we going from here? Um, ba, 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 ba. Okay, well, we know this cage here, we know a nine has to feature. It's the only place in that top row it can go. A nine is going to go one of these three cells here. Not sure which one, but that leaves us to make 20 with four cells. That's nine's got to go there. We know this can't be a nine. Okay, we found the nine. So, the nine has to go in the top in one of these cells here. We can therefore eliminate the nine from here because if a nine is in this cage, in the top of this cage, then we can't place it anywhere else. Therefore, we know the only place that a nine can go for this cage is here because we said this was a five, eight, nine pair. That's the nine. Okay. Therefore, this is a nine based on our pencil marks from before. We then have to make nine here, which uh, I don't think we can do at the minute. We'll, we'll back burn it. We just know it can't be a two and a seven. That's the only thing we can take from that at the moment. So then we have to make 20 from here. And we know one of the numbers has got to be one or two. Let's say that was a two and that was an eight. We then we to make two, uh, we need to make 10 with two digits. Does that help us? Possibly not. Possibly not at the moment. There's yeah, some deep thought going on right now. I'll be honest. Three, five, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, I'll just like to see if there's like any unique numbers left in here. We can maybe work this out though. We have a one. Uh, we can't though because of, yeah. The only thing we know this 11 can't be is a two and a nine. So it could be an eight and a three, or it could be a seven and a six. Can't do anything else on there at the minute. Maybe we can work it out though. 
maybe we can work this out because if we look at this, we've got 21 here and 17 there. That would give us 38 plus the 3 is 38 and 3 is 41. That means that needs to be 4, meaning that's 7. Excellent. Okay. 4. So we know a three is going to feature in this 17 somewhere. Not sure where yet. Um, so that will leave us 14 with two cells. We can't use the nine. So I think we're going to have to use the eight and six. Eight and six. Can't use seven and five. Because seven, okay, so this is an eight and six. So this is a three, eight, six triple. So based on that, that leaves us with a one, one, four, five. And based on that, we also know that this has to be one and four. Because these three, this, these four cells here are all connected. So because um, this cell and this cell have to be the same number, which is quite interesting. So we know that's got to be a 145. So there's a nice little thing there. We then have to make nine here. So we then know that the one can't go there. Or can it? Can we place an eight there? We could place an eight there. So let, let's think about this. If that was an eight, that would be a one. That would be a one. That would leave us with one there, four, seven. I don't know where I'm going with this. It seemed good at the time when I started that train of thought, but that could either be four, five, eight. Be any one of those numbers, because all of these numbers here can be paired with something else to make nine. We just don't know what at the minute. We do know though that an eight has to go either there or there, as it's blocked off from this row here, and it can't sit in those two there. Therefore, we can also deduce that an eight can't go there, because an eight has to sit in this middle here. Okay. We can also take rule out the fives from here, then means this has to be a five. Okay. So then a five would have to go here or here. Obviously that can't be a five if that, uh, yeah, ignore me, ignore me, getting ahead of myself again. Uh, so this, this like eight here now becomes interesting. The reason that is because we got, we've already got, we have a one, three and a five ignore the four because we can't put two fours in the same cage all the same row so we know it can't be a one it can't be a three so it can't be it can't be a one or a seven it can't be a five or a three so it has to be a two and a six here okay so now all that leaves us in here is to place seven eights and nines of which we've already got an eight there, so that has to be a seven and nine. Now, I can now say this has to be a one. The reason this has to be a one is this can't be a nine, because if this was a nine and we had a, I don't know, <laughs> I'm trying to thought. I think there has to be a one in there. I think that has to be a seven seven nine one it can't be an eight so i think the eight's going to have to go there i'm just trying to go through this in my head if that was an eight that would have to be a seven because seven eight and nine is 17. seven and eight is 15 that would make that a two but we're not restricted enough on a two yet so i can't say for sure whether or not that is Correct or not. You know, a two's got to go in here or here. So that becomes a two nine pair. Okay, we can do something here. Four. It comes a four.
Four. Four, four, one, one. Yeah, one, one. More rambles. Three. We can't disambiguate that enough at the minute. Um, this becomes five, seven, eight. One of those. Finish off that triple. This cell and this cell are the same. I just noticed as well, this could actually be a one, five here. Didn't put that in at the time. Three, six, seven. Three, six, seven. We know seven's got to go there. Seven's got to go in the middle there. Seven's got to go there. So one of these has to be a seven. The lowest number we can make here is 11. No, eight. That was eight. We need to make 11 here from two digits. All right, I'm going to start taking a look at this box four here. Is there anything we can do here? So I'm looking at this nine in particular. Can't use a one or a three, so that rules out an, an eight one and a six three. That's got to be seven two. Okay, that's interesting. I think we can work out this six now because we have to have a two is part of a pair here. Oh, that could be a five four though. Could it be a five four? Mm, okay, maybe not. I was going to say if, if that's a two seven pair and that's a two six pair, we know a two is going to go there, 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 or there. Therefore, a two would have to go there. But I don't think we can quite rule that out of there just yet so i think like i said i think this could also be a five four it could be a five four if that was a one and that was an eight we don't have enough information for that at the minute one and four that can't be a four five and eight five and eight is this a six yeah, i think it's a six Three. Yeah, it has to be six. It can't be a five. I think it's six. Yes. I winced as I pressed that because I was like, I think it's this. Okay. One and four pair. Five and eight pair. Five and eight. Seven and three. So this is a one. We know it's two. This has to be a one four pair as well. A lot of like matching there's a, there's a lot of matching pairs in this i'm coming to realize all right that can't be a five because of this five seven here so this has got to be an eight five that rules out the four five so this is seven two therefore we also we missed this that's a one three pair we can't have a one here it's got to be a four one okay what else ones go here so ones go here Sometimes, like when you've pencil marked so much stuff, it is, it's really easy to miss stuff. So, to really take care as to what you're uh, what you're marking, and, and as you place digits down, what becomes available for you. Uh, this looks like the only place a six can go in here. It is six, eight, three. Don't really unlock anything there at the moment, but we're starting to see things happen. Things are starting to uh, run their course. Let's finish that column. Two, six, seven, nine. All right, let's, let's try and, like, can we do something bigger? If that was a nine, nine, that would lean. We have to make eight from two digits. That would be a nine, seven, one. Nine, seven, one. Okay. That was a seven. 
Okay, we don't have enough information. All we, we do know, however, we do know. It's already on pencil notes. No, fat finger. Uh, two's got to go in one of those two columns there. Pretty sure this has to be a two or a one. Put my two back in there before I get confused. I think that has to be a two or a one based on what we can use there. Okay. So, um, I mean, unwinding like any one of these cells here is going to have big implications. All those twos and ones, definitely. I'm just going to take these out of here for the simple fact. I don't want to get confused and think like those those cells can only be a one or a two because that's not the case at all. I really don't want to get confused. All right, we can probably work out now what this number is. We've got 12 here, 12 there, that's 24. Um, 37 plus the two is 39. This is the six. That's a five. Four. Two. Seven, four, here we go. Things are happening. We're going to a halt. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, nine here. It'll be this way around because we've already got a nine in that cage. Six, nine. That gives us 15. We need to make 14 in here with three digits. Five, seven, eight, and one. So one has to be in here as well. So we've got 16, and we need to make 13 from two numbers. 5 and 8. Can't use 7 and 6. Okay, so that's 5 and 8. So this is a 158 triple. Right. Let's think. 9, 6, 15, plus the 1, 16. 5 and 8 is 13. Okay. 1, 5, 8. Still doesn't help me unwind any of this at the moment. Looking down, is there anything else we can deduce? Row 4, 1, 3, 7. Five, eight, seven, three. Um, I'm putting too many digits in now and I'm, I'm going to end up getting confused. I can see it now. All right, that has to be a three. We can finish this off. A, because that adds up to 12 and there's a seven and five here, it stops it from being the seven. So four, so four, eight, no. I'll add four nine. Finish that off. Fours has to go there. We have to make ten in these cells here. We can't do it with a nine or a two, so that's going to be a seven and a three. Can remove that seven from there. We know a seven's got to be at the top. We've got to use a seven. So seven and nine is sixteen. Plus the one is seven, seven and eight is okay. So still could be a one or a two there. We still can't get rid of that. We can start doing things here though. Eight and three to finish off that. I don't want to. Yeah, that has to be seven. That has to be a seven. Okay. Seven and nine is sixteen. So we need to make eight. This cell here after because one of these is seven. So we need to make an eight. So eight to so that's. Ah, see, that's a three. That's going to be a three. Let me just, let me just go through this. Seven and nine is 16. <clears throat> we need to make eight. Take away the three. So if that was a three, three, seven, five, and eight. Three, seven, eight, nine is 17. All right, this 
This has to be three. Can't be one. That's a one. That's a three. Uh, Eleven. Eight. One is now restricted to there. Five and eight. I think we are wrapping it up. We're still not unwound these twos and ones, twos and threes down this side, though. I find that, like, absolutely crazy. Um, one, two, three, four, five, seven. Seven, five. Two, seven, eight. Eight, nine. Three has to go there. Nine. One. Two. Finally, we've got a two. Now we can get rid of all of this stuff down this side that's been pencil marked for such a long time. Jeez, it's crazy. Absolutely crazy how long that's been sat there. But the very first, some of the very first things we pencil marked at the start of the puzzle. And it pretty much stayed until right at the end. Okay. Six, two, fives, one. Uh, still we've got that six and nine though. We'll get to that in a minute. That'll be the six, nine, six, nine, and five and eight. Just shy of the half an hour mark. Guys, hope you enjoyed this one as always. Uh, let me know down below if you want to see more Sudoku. I really do enjoy playing it. So if you want to see it, I will happily play it and bring it to the channel. As I said before, if you've got any tips or tricks to how you feel I might be able to improve my game, leave them down in the comments. I will happily take them on board. But um, yeah, I'm really into this killer Sudoku at the minute. So um, yeah, I would absolutely love to play more for you guys. But until then, I've been Nock. You've been awesome. Take care. Stay safe. Happy gaming.